When I was 14, I planned my wedding. This one's wife. The wheel of excuses. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Regular viewers of my work will know that in relation to the PR puff pieces that this one's wife regularly pays for as the means of asserting control over the readership, of drawing fuel from their reactions, of managing her facade, there exists a wheel which is spun to determine which organ, which outlet is used for the purposes of telling the world that somewhere in a bunker, a minion spins that wheel on behalf of this one's wife to determine whether it's hello, okay, town and country, Harper's Bazaar, Tatler, Marie Claire, Cosmopolitan and so forth, that is then selected to pump out the PR nonsense on her behalf. But what you might not know is, and this is much less well known, is that there is a second wheel, a wheel that is actually within the Monte Shitcho mansion in the communications suite. Yes, you might not have heard about this wheel, but this is exclusive information that your glorious narrator has come by as a consequence of being contacted by a former minion, a former member of staff that operated within the communications suite. You'll have noticed that this one's wife is desperate to attend certain events, desperate to go to the Oscars, to the Emmys, that where there is something important and glamorous, she believes she should attend, because it's an opportunity, driven by her narcissism, to present herself so she can be seen by millions, receive lots of fuel, manage her facade, possibly make connections which might lead to making more money, etc. Her narcissism tells her that she belongs at these events, even though she's a talented nobody who is only known around the world as a consequence of the fact that she managed to marry and ensnare a dim-witted ginger prince. Nevertheless, she still believes that she should be entitled to attend these events, that these are events which need her. But it's become increasingly problematic for her that whether it's the Oscars or a society wedding, the invitations have not been forthcoming. And as you know, as regular students of my work, where an organisation or a person has failed to invite this one's wife, it wounds her. Because she has an entitled expectation that she should attend based upon her massive ego and belief that she can go anywhere she wants and therefore she should be invited to these events because she is the amazing this one's wife. Thus, when she doesn't get that invitation, this threatens her need for control, which you also know means that her narcissism must spring into action to nullify that threat to control by causing her to take steps to prevent the wounding from continuing by regaining control. I can reveal to you that in relation to the repeated wounding that she sustains as a failure to be invited to these events, that the wheel of excuses was created as a means to nullify those threats to control. And I'm now able to exclusively provide you with information that has been given to me directly by this minion who operated the wheel of excuses. Let's hear from them. Hello, my name is Ben Dover. I was employed as a comms assistant for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex within their communications suite at their home in Montecito. I have provided this information to H.G. Tudor, pursuant to the indemnity that his lawyers provided to me in relation to any potential breach of the non-disclosure agreement I was forced to sign on the commencement of my employment. One of the tasks that I was given as part of my role was to operate a machine which we called the Wheel of Excuses. Yes, Sinuk does exist. The Director of Communications, Juan Kerr, noticed that Hank and Skank were not getting invited to major events. You know, the Oscars, the Emmys, 
posh people's weddings, the opening of the latest In-N-Out Burger franchise. This caused major problems. There were huge rows between Skank because she blamed Harry for the fact she was not being invited. They want me, but ever since you wrote about your Todger fixation, they won't invite us any longer, so I get to miss out because of you. You would not believe the monthly crockery bill as a result of her tantrums. Anyway, Juan Kerr came up with this idea to save them some face. He stated that each time there was a major event they were not invited to, they would make it known through the press that Hank and Skank were invited but could not attend because of some other demand on their time. I found that funny because they have no demands on their time. Harry is usually playing Call of Duty on his Xbox or doing some coloring in, and the only thing Skank does is to make Zoom calls, which are never answered, and to rage scroll on social media. Beyond that, they do nothing. Well, I was there to do as I am told, and so this is what would happen when a major event, let us say the Oscars, was on the horizon. I received a message which was sent to me down a tube. I opened the canister, and inside there would be a piece of paper with Oscars written on it. That was my cue to spin the wheel of excuses. It was actually a physical wheel, which a carpenter made in the comms suite. Harry got our his paint set, and with Skank watching, painted on the various reasons which she dictated to him. I had to help him with some of the spelling, but the end product was this large wheel which sits in the comms suite, which I then spin. What are the excuses? Oh, let me see. Security concerns, family activity, busy work schedule, Archie's birthday, although that ended up being taken off. There was also not wanting to draw attention to themselves and Marcus coming round for tea. There was also jam jars need washing, moon rising in Aquarius, Katy Perry dropped by, gone to in and out for a burger, feeling guttural, Meeson photo shoot, important Zoom call, and Beyonce texted. I think that is all of them. Painted on the wheel in each segment, and so when I received the canister, I would spin the wheel and watch it whir around. Harry had it set up so it made a noise like a merry-go-round. If he was in the room, he would get very excited watching the wheel spin. He used to prance around the room like he was riding a horse, slapping his bottom and twisting his nipples. When the outcome arrived, I would then have to write it down on a piece of paper and place it in a canister. It would then go back up the chute, and one of my colleagues would then spend their time explaining to the supine publications that they would have loved to have attended the Oscars, which they were very much invited to, but unfortunately they had to decline as they were not wanting to draw attention to an important Zoom call. Yes, sometimes the wheel landed between two segments, so I ended up having to write both segments down. It was stupid, but Skank ordered it so. She said that it was important to never segment her truth as it offended authenticity, whatever the fuck that meant. I lasted about a week and then resigned and got a job as President Biden's pillow plumper. It was much more interesting than working for those two lunatics. Well, there you have it. The Wheel of Excuses does exist. Presumably, somebody other than Ben Dover now has to man the Wheel of Excuses. But at least you have learned about its existence and understand how this one's wife uses it to nullify that threat to control caused by another non-invitation. She has to deal with the NFIs on a regular basis. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.